smooth motion. If you worked with Unity, you should know how much moving objects is necessary for every game you make. There are several ways to move objects we want to talk about. Here we have a ball and we want to move it to the target. One. Set position. As you know, every object in Unity scene has a position vector. So simple way to move object is change that vector directly to the target position. Two, lerp. Things going to become a little hard now. There's a function in Unity called lerp. It takes two point A and B and a percentage T, then return a new point between A and B based on T. So what happen if we set our position to result of this function and repeat it again and again? We have in smooth motion to the target. Move toward. Like lerp function, this function take two point A and B and a speed S, then return new point that moved from A with speed S to point B. Consider that uses constant speed, so it's not smooth. Four, lerp and move toward. Now we have two functions: one for smooth motion and one for constant speed motion. This is all we need to make a perfect motion to the target. We just have to combine these two function together. Consider that is really important to use which one first, or you can try any combination of these two function to see result yourself. Rigid body. Almost all of you already know what rigid body is, but just for sure, rigid body is a Unity component that allow you to use Unity built-in physics engine so you can do a lot of cool things in your games. We can move objects using rigid body. First add it to our ball object. Then we need to use a little linear algebra to calculate needed force for our ball to reach to the target. Simply subtract ball position from target position and we have force direction. it to make sure that is just a direction. Finally multiply it by a number that describe applied force to our ball. Now we have applied force. Only thing left to do is apply force to ball. To do that first we need to get rigid body component. Then use add force function to apply force. We also need to increase drag property of rigid body so velocity won't increase forever.
6. Translate. Now we should know what position is. There's a function let us change it, but it's a little different. Translate function take two argument and second one is not necessary. First one is move vector like force vector in rigid body. Next one define move space, world or self. If you choose world, nothing will change and it move like move toward. but in self mode our movement direction affected by our rotation. In the other word, it use input vector to move relative to its direction.